Good evening, everybody. Um, I'm Barbara Kennan. I work here at the Department of Cultural Affairs and the director of the Chicago Arts Resource website and I'm the coordinator of the Artists at Work Forums. And I'm very glad to welcome you here to the beginning of the fall, end of summer, still summer, fall, um, <laughs> season of Artists at Work Forums. And we're super excited to have Beyond the Walls, non-traditional ways of making a living as an artist. And super excited that you are here with us. Um, we do Artists at Work Forums every month in the fall and in the, in the spring. And there are, if you get a program that's in the back, you'll see down at the bottom some of the ones that are coming up. Um, working with Alderman, Art in Your Board, working with Alderman and Chamber of Commerce, because the one that's going to be the next one. Another one about teaching arts and about Studio Chicago. So there's an interesting array of things that are designed to help artists and people in the arts and the design field um, be more productive in Chicago. Um, and so I wanted to let you know there's also a survey. If you are interested in if you form topics, we want to know what you want to know about. If there are people that you think we should be contacting to be part of forums, let us know that and we will try to put together forums that address your needs. Um, that's very important to us. I wanted to let you know that KTV is um, the cable access network is going to be filming this. Um, for broadcast later on, so you can go to cantv.org if you want to share it with your friends so they can watch it on TV. Um, and when we do Q&A later on, I'm going to pass the mic around and it's really important if you have questions or comments that we do everything into the microphone so that everybody can um, hear it now and in the future. So, without further ado, I wanted to introduce and thank Lynn Besa, who is the moderator but also really the organizer of this panel and of the panel that's going to be next month with working with the people in your ward. And Lynn is an amazing artist and a, a dynamo who's made a real big impact in the art scene in Chicago since she moved here seven, seven years ago. Um, she's a public art artist, she's an author, she's an educator, she's many, many more things, a font of information, and she's also going to introduce the other panelists who are also really amazing dynamos. And so, I guess that's it for me. And until we do Q and A, and Lynn, thank you very much. Thank you, Barbara. And one of the things about Barbara is, and the reason that we're all up here is that when she hears a good idea, she'll say, "Okay, you want to do an artist at work forum?" And then you say, "Okay," and then you end up here. <laughs> but um, as Barbara said, we're all really excited that you're here tonight because. Um, the way we've designed this is that 45 minutes of this, half of it, is going to be devoted to your questions and a give and take with the audience. So start getting your questions ready. Uh, and before we start and before I introduce the panel, I just wanted, and all of us, because we really try to practice what we preach, want to know, uh, first of all, how many of you in the audience are artists? Great. And then how many, I'm trying, I want to take a quick little survey about how you all find out about this. How many of you heard about it from Time Out? How about Chicago Artist Resource? Okay. Um, how about a blog? Any blog? Okay. <laughs> uh, how about the Chicago Reader? Okay, okay. And a personal email from one of us. And the rest of you just wandered in off the street. <laughs> um, that's OK. We're happy to see you however you got here. See the flying The cultural center sends out an email. Oh, OK. OK. And that's how I read it. That's it. There's the Chicago Resource Center. Okay, so the website, and then there's the e newsletter. That's the other one. OK, that's great. Thank you. Um, so. I want to just, inter and we're, you're going to hear everything you ever want to know about us and that's, um, as we get through our, our panel here. So I'll just introduce their names. This is Chad Corey, Lee Tracy, Nico Moy. And um, I'm just going to, we're going to, uh, we're, we all represent kind of a different aspect of and different ages and different ways of, of making full-time livings as an artist. And what we do have all in common is just the multiple incomes. Actually, Nico is, is an artist, but now she's a full-time gallerist, online gallerist, and so she's going to take a little bit of a more different angle with 